fish right here are set up for breeding. They have been separated by this disc so that once I remove that disc, the males and the females will come together and release eggs and sperm. I will then harvest the fertilized eggs and use those to extract DNA from which our investigation on the obscuring gene will be based. I just finished washing the embryos with Triton X and now I'm going to remove the Triton X from the embryos that I've washed. To load a DNA sample on the gel, we amplify DNA and what I'm about to do is uh, put it on the gel, run it through the gel so that I can be able to see whether uh, amplification whether we ran the right DNA. I will close it and let the electric current um, cause the sample to flow through the gel for about 20 minutes. A major part of my research is to investigate the role of the obscuring gene in developing embryos. To do that, we injected morpholino into the embryos. Morpholino would deplete the obscuring gene. And now I'm about to observe the development of embryos that have the obscuring gene depleted. They seem to have cardiac edema, which means that um, their heart is not that strong and it's, it has a bulgy appearance. So there's a number of embryos that died. which makes me think that obscuring depletion has a very negative effect on embryonic development.